You know, YouTube's been pretty bad about like when your video is falsely striked or falsely taken down and you have to complain why and you have to go on the Twitter and you have to complain why. They're usually pretty bad at that. I don't get why a company so big would have to struggle with things like that, like just communicating with people. Like there's no proper communication and the system is just bad and it's been bad for a long time. I'm sure you've heard that it's been bad for a long time. But, but this is one of the very rare, very rare YouTube W's in that situation. The YouTuber Shampi, his video was taken down and he went to the Twitter to complain about it as he normally do. And YouTube said, no, we're not bringing back the video. But this time, this time the public is like, well, yeah, this makes sense. This makes sense. That's reasonable. And the reason for that is that in the video, bro leaked corpse husband's face reveal, which is like bad doxing, you know, people have the right to privacy. Like, even if you don't like the guy, even if you don't, if you don't like the guy, which, which is fair, which is fair. But if you're just gonna go and dox him and leak his private information, that's like beyond just not liking somebody. That's just messed up. Now, now, Shanfi, to be fair to him, he wasn't trying to like harass him or dox him or do anything like that. It was, yeah, it was like an accident, which I don't really get because, bro, watch your own video. Like, what the heck? And then he complained about it, and it's like, oh, what, what, what do you mean? Just watch your own video. You're complaining without like giving an actual reason. That doesn't make sense. Now, Shampi, he has gone on to apologize. He seems to acknowledge that he did an oopsie, he messed up. And I think, you know, that's good. It's good to own up to your mistakes. I don't know how that could have even happened though in the first place. And then how he could have complained about it without watching his own video. But at least he has apologized and such. Bro messed up so badly, he's got John Swan in the right now. LOL. He seems pretty chill with Corpse Husband, wishing him the best and apologizing again. So, you know, I guess that's good. Overall, I guess it's an average good ending to the drama. I mean, like, that sucks for Corpse, but there's not really much you can do now. So that's unfortunate. And to Shampi, I hope he gets better at, uh, you know, editing and watching his videos before he complains about it to YouTube. But it kind of seems like he's learned from his mistakes after this. But yeah, that's it.